you, everybody. Um, I have to first apologize if I couldn't remember anything that I wanted to say because I haven't been running in the past two weeks and I really, really need some more endorphins. <laughs> so if I forget or if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> um, do you ever look into the mirror and think to yourself, you wish you could just change something you don't like about yourself? Thank you. Well, some of us, we want to change everything about ourselves. It's because society tell us that we're not up to its beauty standards. We're either always too fat, too thin, too short, too dark, too much or not enough. But why do we let others decide on what is good for our body or not? We're taught to, we're never taught to embrace ourselves and love who we are. But we need to do that. And I'm here to tell you that you need to love yourself. In our society, we are taught to stigmatize people by their look, by the way they look. We stigmatize people's social or health status just because we look at them and think what they are, like being fat. Being fat to me now is just a word, it's just one of the many descriptors. But in this society, we're taught to use these words as an insult to make fun of people. Because if you're fat, you're being labeled as weak, lazy, undesirable, hence worthless. And I'm going to tell you that it's not true. So a little history about my past. Um, I was being put on diet pills when I was 12 years old. I, I was never happy about my body. Um, my body weight fluctuated depending on what kind of diet regime I was on to lose weight. And I have been struggling with food my whole life. Um, by 20, I, the first time I wore a dress was when I was 21 years old. And before that, I looked like this. <laughs> Look how happy I am with my right. Food was <laughs> everything in my life. And, and apart from food, there was nothing else because I couldn't find a dress to wear. I couldn't look pretty. So by 21 years old, I was having only 500 calories a day for a period of time. And 500 calories is about five oranges and one banana. Um, so you can guess, not long after that, I was being hospitalized because my immune system was breaking down. And so after that, I stopped telling people that this diet is really good. I, I don't recommend it anymore to anybody. But I look, I, although I look normal, smaller inside, people think I'm normal on the outside, but actually they don't know anything I've been going through. During the time when I was in the hospital, I realized that my whole life had been controlled by how much I care about people, how people look at me, how much I care about the way I look. I wasted so much time thinking about and only caring about one thing about myself and neglecting everything else and neglecting my own happiness. So I vowed to myself at that point then I will have a better relationship with myself. Having said that, how do you have a good relationship or even just better relationship if you don't know how to do it? How do I get from the bottom of self-hated and self-pity to become happier? Well, my transition starts in 2008 when I started blogging about 
plus size clothing. I talk about where I can find clothes that fits me. And I feel a lot happier because I felt like I was helping other people in who felt the same as me, who have, have been facing the same difficulty as me. Although on the outside, I look very confident, but on the inside, I'm still the same person who's very insecure about the way I look, who couldn't let go of my body issue. And I just, I, I'm, I just couldn't look myself in the mirror. But you know, one day I found Instagram. Instagram changed my life. <laughs> I stumbled upon on this profile of a blonde six foot two woman from Canada. She's really, really tall. And you can imagine um, how many men were intimidated by her size. But she encouraged me and many other girls to love the body we have, no matter how it's like. After that, there is a whole community with many, many more body positivity movements around the world now. All these girls, they're telling you to look past what you look like and just love yourself no matter how you are. Love the body you have no matter how it is because only this way you can start loving yourself. And not sure after that, I've also learned from this psychology paper uh, by Abraham Maslow, written in 1943, The Hierarchy of Needs. This is the hierarchy of needs. Well, this part is new, right? Before, there were no internet, right? There were no battery, no internet. And so you, you just look like above here. So the idea is, once you have all your basic needs fulfilled, like clothes, water, and food, you will find safety. You will be able to care about your body and your health, and eventually you can move up to self-love. So in an ideal world, if there's no shaming, no bullying, we'll be able to learn to love each other. We'll be able to encourage each other. My dream is to have a place and live in a place where we live in a diverse culture, where everybody just encourage each other, telling each other they're great. Um, there is a place if we can just understand and accept the fact that everyone is different, so we will stop bullying each other. In an ideal world like that, we will be able to move up to self-love. If you learn how to love yourself, you will start doing great things for yourself and for other people. So my message to you today is that no matter who you are, no matter what size you are, no matter where you're from, no matter your race, your color, your gender, your or sexual orientation, the only thing you need to know and remember is to be bold and be yourself and love yourself. Thank you.